Hey, James and Jazz here. We're super excited, y'all, to be doing our Workout Wednesday using Woo! dumbbells, y'all. Yes. We got a donation from Versagrips, one of my friends, and they're, they're just amazing people. We love them so much. I've uh, been friends with them for a long time. They've sponsored me for a long time. So they bless us with $1,600 worth of a donation in dumbbells with the racks. So we're super excited about that. Thank uh, the, you, Versagrips. Yeah, thank you, Versagrips. The McCart family donated us a bench. So we're going to be doing a chest bulker workout using the dumbbells and a bench. Super excited about this, y'all. You're gonna love this workout. If you really want to tone up, bulk up and tone up that chest, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna hit the full chest. We're gonna hit the full pec major, the, the uh, clavicular head, the sternocostal head, and the costal head of the pec major today. We're gonna bulk it up, and we're going to cut it up using the dumbbells. So y'all are gonna really enjoy it. Six different exercises a day. It's gonna be a phenomenal workout. Let's go ahead and do a simple 90 second jog in place. <sighs> so there's really no modifications with today's workout. Like if you've done our workouts in the past, our resistance band workouts or any of our other workouts, uh, we show modifications, things that you can do to make the workout a little easier. Your modification is to go less weight. So hopefully you have several different dumbbell options where you can go a little bit lighter. We are going to be doing today's workout with high reps. We're gonna be doing 20, 18, and 15. That means the first set you're doing 20 reps. The second set you're doing 18 reps. The third set you're doing 15 reps. So we're focusing on that high rep range. Um, I'll do my set and kind of try to talk, talk my way through it, the form and all that different stuff. And then Jasmine will be ready to hop off. She's gonna spot me. So if you guys have a spot, that's always a good thing. That's great for safety. If you don't, then be very careful, please. Um, and then as soon as I get on my set, Jasmine's gonna hop on there and do her set. So we're gonna be back and forth, trying to keep that pace up as quickly as we can, because I am gonna try to wrap this workout in 30 minutes. I don't know that it'll happen. Usually it's, it's a little bit longer than that. And I've never filmed this workout working out with somebody. Usually it's just me on my own and I can hop in and do my sets as quick as possible. But so, if you don't have somebody, then it's a perfect way to time when it's break time for you. Yep. Yeah, so if you wanna go with me, your break will be when I go on break. You're gonna do your set when I'm on set. You're gonna do your break when I'm doing a break. Let's do a behind the head tricep stretch. Yeah, super excited. And ladies, don't be scared off by this workout because the more muscle you build, the more calories you burn. That's right. So uh, don't worry, we're, us ladies, we're not going to end up looking like James here. It's not going to be what happens. We're yeah. just going to get a nice toned body. That's right. And women worry about getting bulky. Oh, I don't want to do workouts. I don't want to do dumbbells. I, I, I'm afraid I'm going to get too, too big. I'm going to get too bulky. Let's switch sides. Reality of it is, guys hope and pray and work so hard to put on mass. And we have this thing, a lot of this thing called testosterone that women don't have. You have estrogen. We have testosterone in a lot of it, so it's much easier for a guy to get bulky. When you see the women that are really, really big and bulky, many of them have been doing testosterone themselves. They've been injecting it or whatever and doing growth hormones. So that's how they got big. It wasn't just because they worked out. <laughs> Let's do an arm behind the bench stretch. Jasmine will do the same. We're really just trying to open up this shoulder right here. This is it. Whenever I train upper body, I always like to loosen up my shoulders, uh, because the shoulders have a big part to do in the workout. They take, they take a lot of toll in the workout. So we're just turning out and trying to loosen up this shoulder. And you're also going to feel it slightly in that outer chest. They could also use a wall, right? Babe? Yep, you could use a wall, but hopefully, hopefully you have a bench because yeah. you're going to need it today. <laughs> Jazz and I are going to switch sides. Let's go around this way. And you're going to do the other side. Notice I keep turning my shoulder back and forth. It's kind of helping me to loosen that shoulder and also to feel that in the outer chest. Yes, I feel it. I feel it. So throughout this workout, again, we're doing sets of 20, 18, and 15. Your goal is to hopefully have enough dumbbells where maybe you can start, you know, a little lighter for 20, and then you're going to go up in weight on 18, and then you're going to go up even heavier. Let's do the cross arm stretch. You're going to go up even heavier on that last set. Uh, so maybe, like for Jasmine, she's going to be doing... Five for her first set, 10 for her second, and 15 for her third. She likes to add the in-between dumbbells, but we don't have those, so uh, we're, we're gonna work on getting those. Um, but she's gonna do five, 10, and 15 for hers. I'm probably gonna do 40, 45, and uh, 40, 45, and 50. Oh, let's switch, sorry, I'm a little behind. So 
The goal is to go up in weight each time, and that's why you have a spot, someone there to push you through that last that last rep of the, of each set. So, uh, honestly, 40, 45, and 50 is way too light for me, uh, but I just want to be able to show you guys uh, how you can go up and, and weight each set. So, all right, I think we're good now. So I'm gonna demonstrate the first exercise. Sorry if the framing's not perfect, y'all. We only have so much space to work with here. Um, but uh, we're gonna start with incline bench. So do me a favor and put your bench to an incline at a 45 degree angle. I don't want you at 60. That can be too much pressure on your front delts that can actually hinder and hurt your front delts. So if you can be at a 45 degree angle, that's gonna be great. So hopefully your bench allows you to do that. You should probably know what a 45 degree angle is. Some people go too high and then I end up hearing things like, oh man, I've got shoulder problems, my shoulders hurt. And then I find out that they're doing their incline bench at a 60 or 70 degree angle. Y'all, you may as well be doing shoulder press. So uh, wanna make sure that we're focused on that chest. So I'm gonna grab my 40s. And of course I've got my Versa grips here. Um, got to be wearing these in the dumbbell workouts because they blessed us with the sponsorship to sponsor these dumbbells. So I like Versa Grips because they keep my hands from sweating so bad. It's not wrapped around my hands. I just put the, the weights when I'm doing chest press against the dumbbell like this so I don't get calluses on my hands. All right, so here we go. Got the weights here. Now, this is what the exercise will be. I'm going to say in three, two, one, bring them to your knees. Three, two, one, bring them to your shoulders. Lay back. And you're just going to press to the ceiling like this. I don't want you to clang them together. Come down so your triceps are parallel to the ground and back up. Again, don't clang them together like that, okay? So grab your dumbbells, bring them to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one, and lay back. Let's go for 20 in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ten more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Give me five more. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Bring it back down to your knees. All right. Look at that, he didn't even need me for a spot. That's right, but she was there just in case. Yes, I've got my Versa grips ready to go. Starting out with nice, light weight of five pounds. Three, four. So, five. again, she's, you're on your break now. If you started with me, get yourself a drink of water, wipe off of the towel. Notice Jasmine's triceps are coming, so she's about parallel to the ground on every, every time she comes down. She's not banging them together at the top. She's getting a nice squeeze in through that upper chest at the top. That's where you're really trying to squeeze through your upper chest. Squeeze through those striations in your chest. Women, yes. not necessarily striations, but you're squeezing through, all right? <laughs> you're building muscle underneath your breasts, so it pushes your boobs out. They look bigger, right? Is that the way it works? I don't know. Uh, all right. I'm not an expert on the, uh, the boob category. All right. Now I've got my 45s, I'm going up in weight. As soon as she gets off, we're getting on, so bring those dumbbells to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. Lay back, we're going for 18 in three, two, one. One, one two, three, four. And he's focusing on breathing also. Six, seven, Eight, you definitely don't want to be holding your breath during these. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're watching a spot just in case. James is still doing good. 17 and 18. 18. Bring it back to your knees. All right, so as she mentioned, the breathing is a very important thing. She's just going to get started into her set. Breathing is super important. Going up in weight also. You want to make sure that your X is called exhale on the exertion. So as you're pressing up, you're flexing through that muscle and you're breathing out. So it's taking air in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. That's why when you hear people screaming in the gym, they might be doing squats 
or they might be doing bench press. You're going to hear them screaming. If they're doing squat, they're at the bottom, you're going to hear them screaming on their way up. Ugh! Or if they're doing chest press, they're down, you're going to hear them screaming on their way up. Ugh! Right? Because they're exhaling on the exertion, they're exhaling as they're flexing. So as they're pressing through that exercise. Okay, third and final set for incline dumbbell bench press. I'm gonna grab the 50s. I'm going for 15 reps. <sighs> okay. Show an eye for me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more, guys. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Easy. Easy breezy. I'm going up and wait one more time, so we're up to fifteen pounds. The rest of you are on break, unless you have a training partner there with you, then your your training partner is going on this set. If you started, they're going second. Four. job 15 she didn't need a spot look at that all right so feel free to stretch in between when you're on your break you can be stretching do whatever you need to do now we're going to put it down to a flat bench so take your bench put it on flat like so now we're going to go back grab those weights i'm going to go 40 45 50 so 20 18 and 15. Uh, Maven, for those that don't know why are we switching incline, regular, and decline? I'll get to that when, we, when we're done with this set so I can do the set. All right, three, two, one, bring them to your knees. Three, two, one, bring your shoulders and lay back. Press in three, two, one for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. Piece of cake. Okay, so as she was, she brought up the question right before my set. I didn't want to talk on my set, but, um, so again, same form here. Just getting her, bringing her triceps so they're about parallel to the ground. And then pressing up through, squeezing tight at the top through your, the uh, sternocostal head of your pec major, part of the chest there, the mid chest. So, went from incline, incline dumbbell bench. That works your upper chest. That is known as the clavicular head. It's attached to your clavicle. The clavicular head of your pec major, that's the upper chest. We're bulking up the upper chest when we do incline bench. We switch to, to flat bench. That hits the, the sternocostal head of your pec major, is attached, attached in at the sternum. So now we're balking at flat bench, we're balking up the mid chest, the sternocostal head of the, of the chest, the pec major. All right, so bring the dumbbells to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. Lay back, press for 18, in three, two, one. One. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're halfway there. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Good work, you guys. So, you might notice sometimes I wrap. With the versa grips around the dumbbell, it's up to you. Um, that just helps me to hold on to the dumbbell a little bit easier. So you can go against it. The idea when you're doing pressing exercise is you put the dumbbell against the versa grip. I sometimes also wrap it. It also, that way it still doesn't really touch my hand. I'm not gonna get uh, calluses or anything like that. 
But especially when I do my dumbbell flies, I like to wrap the versa grips around the dumbbell, which we'll show a little bit later. So she's going for, what are we at, baby? 18? 18. Good. 16, 17, 18. Good job. That's all I needed. 18. Yep, 18 was it. I did an extra. No all right. Cheaper. So, last set is 20 reps. So you might also notice, or, uh, sorry, sorry, yeah. You might notice that, uh, so we're going for 15 reps. You might notice that um, I go a little bit lower than 90 degrees. Uh, that's because I've trained, I've fashioned my body to be able to do that. I'll talk a little bit more about that after this set, so I don't want to waste time. All right, bring them to your knees in three, two, one. Bring your shoulders in three, two, one, and lay back. 15 and three, two, one. One. And thus get a much more well-rounded chest, a wide chest. So Arnold always went lower on his chest presses and on his chest flies. So I had to go lighter weight to train myself to be able to do that. So you don't want to be doing your heavy weight when you're trying to begin to stretch out that muscle. Um, so I had to lighten my load a lot. And then I was able to start going lower on my chest presses and flies. All right, so go to decline bench. So Get your bench as low as it'll go. Arms doesn't go super low. You're gonna go back down in that weight. We're gonna do 18 or 20 reps. So grab your dumbbells. I'm going back to 40. You're gonna do 20 reps. All right. Bring your dumbbells to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. And lay back slowly so you don't slide down a bit. Go for 20 in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Awesome. Whew. You know like what? That. I absolutely love the weight training side of things instead of doing constant cardio. And I love it because it burns even more calories. Yeah. Woo. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. She's 13, breathing out as she presses 14, up. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 19, and 20. So, decline bench hits the costal head of the heck major. So, uh, so now we're, since we're doing decline, now we're hitting the lower part of the chest. We're bulking up the costal head of the pec major. So, grab those dumbbells. We're going for 18 reps. Bring them to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, Two, one, and lay back slow. 18 and three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Oh, man, I struggled on that. These are short breaks, y'all. <sighs> We're putting in some good work. <laughs> yep. Shorter breaks are making it a lot more tough. So, 
all of your chest press exercises, the incline, the flat, the decline that we're doing now, they focus on bulking, adding muscle to the pec major of the chest. Later on, we're going to do chest flies. That focuses on cutting up the chest, upper, mid, and lower chest, um, and bringing in striations to the different areas that we're training, depending on if it's upper, mid, or lower chest. So, the so pec major is what we see on the outside of the chest, the big bulky part of the outside of the chest. You also have the pec minor, it's three strands of muscle that run underneath the pec major. So that's a little harder to train. You have to do what's called a Gironda dip, reverse grip uh, dips, and that kind of trains the pec minor uh, of, the, of the chest. What are we on now, babe? We are going to be doing 15. 15, all right. I'm talking so much, I can't even remember. All right. Grab my heavier weights. 50s. Go up for 15. Bring them to you. Bring your dumbbells to your knees and three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders and three, two, one. And lay back slowly. Press for 15 and three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 45 degree angle. We're going to do dumbbell flies now. So, as I said before, dumbbell presses, they help to bulk the chest. Dumbbell flies help to cut up the chest. So, you're going to go a lot lighter weight when you do, when you're doing the, uh, the fly exercises. So, I'm going down to 25 pounds now for this first one. I'll do 25, 30, and 35. In the gym, I would do way more than that, but... All right, so. We're having to talk through this, yeah. though. <laughs> Grab your dumbbells, bring them to your knees, and wait, hold up. Let me show you the exercise first. So incline looks like this. I'll have you bring them to your shoulders like this later. And you're allowing your triceps to get parallel to the ground. Notice I'm not like this. I'm like this. My palms are facing in toward my body because it's a fly. I'm keeping the same bend in my elbows the whole way through, coming down so my triceps are about parallel to the ground, coming up. Don't clang them together. Squeeze tight. Back down back up. So it's not a press, it's a fly. Keeping that same bend in the elbows all the way through. I oftentimes say it's like hugging a tree or hugging a person. You're going to keep that same bend in your elbows as you hug someone. You're not going to have straight arms. So it's like you're hugging, okay? So bring the dumbbells to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. Let's go for 20 in three, two, one. One. And two, three. Breathing out as you fly up. Five and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Halfway, keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right. So I like to wrap, again, when I do flies, I wrap the bursa grips around my dumbbells because I don't want to drop them off to the side. Yeah, so she's wrapping it around the dumbbell. Like this. And then it presses against your hand like that. So if you have bursa grips, 
That's the way you're gonna to wanna to do it. Which they're awesome because it prevents you from dropping the weights. Yes. There's a lot of exercises down the road that we'll be doing uh, with our workouts that I actually pretty much require, highly suggest you have versa grips because the exercises can be dangerous that I do uh, if you don't have versa grips, like reverse grip skull crusher, for instance. Versa grips are very convenient to have for those. So right now, Jasmine is bringing striations. Don't be scared, ladies. ladies. <laughs> striations into that uh, upper chest or men that are doing it. This is creating striations in the sternocost or the clavicular head of your pec major. So that's where you're seeing those striations begin to come in in that upper chest. 20 reps is what she's going for. She's breathing out as she flies up. Yes. Taking air in when she comes down, breathing out as she comes up. All right. I got mine. My verse grips are wrapped around them, as you can see. All right. We're going to bring them to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. And lay back slow. Fly in three, two, one. One. Eighteen. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And he's breathing as he's going up. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. And eighteen. <sighs> All right. And I'm going to go back to the fives because normally I would do like seven and a half or eight. We don't have that and I can't quite do tens yeah. for our 18 reps. Do what you guys got to do. Get him in. She's doing 18 now. <sighs> oh. So for those of you who might be curious how you can give, how you can be a partner in our ministry, we do all these videos for free. Um, we do... Uh, Mondays, we do spiritually fit videos where we talk about spirituality. Tuesday or Wednesday, workout Wednesday, we do workout Wednesday videos. Friday, we do life and relationship videos. We do all this stuff for free. It takes a lot of time to film, to edit, to post, to do all the SEO, to work with the website stuff. So we want this to be our full-time job. We feel like the Lord is definitely, we know that the Lord has called us to this James and Jazz business. So I'll finish talking about this in a moment. Grab your dumbbells, wrap them around. Bring them to your knees in three, two, one. We're going for 15 reps. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. And lay back slow. Fly in three, two, one. one. So while he counts, I will just continue on. We've got a way that you can partner with us. And in fact, multiple ways on our website, jamesandjazz.com. We've got a, a tab up at the top that says donate. And you can donate via PayPal, which is info Ten. at jamesandjazz.com. We've got Venmo, and we've got Patreon. So. 13, 14, and 15. Thanks, babe, for finishing that up. Whew. Um, so, yeah, we'd love for you to partner with us if you feel led to. These videos, we could be selling instead of... Instead of putting them out for free, we could be selling them on our website. We could create a bundle like I did with James Ellis Fit with all my workout videos. So we could have chosen to do that, but we wanted to give them out for free. We want to see YouTube grow. We want to reach more people. Instead of charging, we want to be able to reach the masses uh, to help them get in shape mentally, spiritually, and physically. That's why we're giving them out for free. So we'd love to have you come alongside us and partner with us, just like Versa Grips did. Maybe you just want to give a one-time donation of five bucks. You're like, you know what? I'm not going to have my coffee this month or this week, whatever. Um, or maybe you're like, no, I want to give a much bigger donation. I want to give a thousand or whatever. Or maybe you're like, I want to give on a regular basis. I want to be a reoccurring giver every month or every week. That's what Patreon's going to help you do. Yeah. And we appreciate it so, so we're going so much. To flat. We're going to flat bench, going back down on the weight, going 20 reps. So wrap the Versa grips. 20 reps. Exactly like the incline, same, same form. So bring the dumbbells to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. I'm not showing this because it's just like the other one. Fly in three, two, one for 20. One. Yes, we know you guys are smart. Keeping that slight bend in your elbows all the way through. Four. Breathing out as you come up. Six. Seven. 
spiritual videos. It's a ton of spiritual videos and a video player on that page. Click on um, physically fit videos and that'll show you all the workouts we have there. We have resistance band workouts currently. We have a bunch of HIIT workouts as well. High intensity interval training which is great for fat burning. And then we also we have these dumbbell workouts that are going up and soon we'll have kettlebell workouts as well. We'll have a series of dumbbell workouts going up along with some HIIT stuff still. Um, and beyond that uh, life and relationship videos where we talk about relationships, where we talk about what's going on in our life. Yeah. So, Monday, spiritual videos, Tuesday, workout Wednesday, Wednesday. Friday, or Wednesday, workout Wednesday, sorry. And then uh, Friday, life and relationship videos. Grab the next dumbbell up. Is this 18 bit? Yep, we got it. So, bring the dumbbells to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one. And fly for 18 and three, two, one. Hope you guys are loving this workout. You can get in a really good workout in a short amount of time. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Five more. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Good job, y'all. Keep it up. Keep up that pace. All right, I'm doing my fives again for any ladies. If you're not able to quite go up to tens, that's all right. We're going to hang here. So, yeah, another thing you guys can do, if you're on jamesandjazz.com after this workout, uh, if you're on the home page, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you're going to find how you can subscribe to our email list. Fill that in. And we'll keep you up to date with, as we're posting videos, we'll keep you up to date with those videos going up. And we'll also keep you up to date with just things going on in our lives. So it's a great thing to get on that email list. Um, and just fun updates that we can give you guys. Those are great to give through the email list. Beyond that, at the bottom, you can also fill out a thing to book us for a speaking engagement. Or maybe you want us to come and do a workout somewhere. Uh, fill out that information, give us the details, and we'd love to get back to you on that as well. All right, we're going to grab the next weight up, 35. We're going for 15 reps on the flat dumbbell chest fly. Bring them to your knees in 3, 2, 1. Bring them to your shoulders in 3, 2, 1. And lay back. Fly in 3, 2, 1. And if your partner is getting to the point where they're starting to feel fatigued, because that is very possible, um, then you can just be behind them. And if it looks like they're struggling to make it and push it up, then you would just gently tap on their um, elbows to raise it up. But James is a champ and he doesn't even need me. <laughs> 11, 12, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right. I'll probably need him this time. Yeah. No shame. I'm going up. Thanks for working out with us today, everybody. Whew. All right. Yeah, we also encourage you, if you're on jamesandjazz.com, you're going to see those social media tabs at the top and at the bottom. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Be sure to go and like and follow us on those. It's under James and Jazz. And then our YouTube, you can subscribe to our YouTube. We would love that. If you enjoyed this workout or any of our videos, do us a huge favor. You'd be blessing us to share them. So share the videos. How are we going, babe? Decent. Leave us a comment. Let us know how much you're enjoying the videos. If you want to message us, you can message us on social media. Or you can send us an email at j info at jamesandjazz.com. Good job, babe. Thank you. All right. We're going to end with three sets of 
decline chest fly, so put your bench to decline now. We're okay. almost done, everybody. Go back to that lighter weight. We're going for 20 reps. Same form on this, believe it or not, it's a fly. Uh, as you had on the incline, hand the flat chest fly. So you're gonna wanna lay back slowly so you don't slide down the bench, and we're doing a fly coming parallel to the ground with our triceps. Bring them to your knees in three, two, one. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one, and lay back slow. Fly for 20 in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Eleven and twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, y'all. Keep it up. Okay, so this is working the costal head of your pec major. This is bringing striations. It's cutting up the costal head of your pec major, your lower chest striations. And Jazz went down again to the five pounders for this 20, 20 set. She's trying not to claim together at the top. I did that several times. Uh, so just do your best not to claim together. The reason for that is it can throw off your, your momentum and that, that slight jerk can pull something in your shoulder. So you want to be really careful about clanging them together. You want to try to bring them together slowly, get close, but don't bang them. Then back down, triceps parallel to the ground and back up, squeezing through the costal head of your pec major. 19 and 20. Good job. All right. For everybody watching, what would you say is the most simple flat and fire decline? <laughs> um, usually decline for a lot of people, but it could change. All right. Grab that next weight up. Bring the dumbbells to your knees in 3, 2, 1. Bring them to your shoulders in 3, 2, 1. And lay back slowly. Fly for 18 and 3, 2, 1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine, halfway there, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. That form was looking so good. I thought you wanted to hug me. Yeah. Nice slow hug, not a violent hug. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta have some fun. Y'all we'll well, need a hug after this workout. You're doing great. <laughs> Practice your form. Took longer than 30 minutes, as you probably noticed. Of course, we did have that warm up in there as well. It is hard to get, what, nine, 18 sets in in 30 minutes. It's very difficult. <laughs> That's taking little to no breaks. When I used to film these live workouts, I didn't have someone in between me. I took shorter breaks and it was exhausting. I even went lighter weight because it was so exhausting to take such short breaks. So this is a little bit more realistic to have a workout go a little bit longer than 30 minutes, closer to 45 minutes. It makes a little more sense. You're supposed to get at least 60, well, I mean, at least 60 seconds between sets. Uh, if not 90. All right, grab that the heaviest weight, right? Yep. I'm gonna bring it to your knees. Three, two, one. We're gonna go for 15 reps. Bring them to your shoulders in three, two, one, and lay back slowly. Fly for 15 in three, two, one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's finish it up. 
husbands and wives or weight training partners in general. Let's keep this up. You got this. Now you're kind of getting an idea of what other dumbbells you might need to add to your mix. Maybe you weren't able to go heavy enough. Maybe you didn't have light enough weights. Maybe you need to get some in-betweens like Jasmine needs. We've discovered that, so we're going to get some in-betweens for her. So get those dumbbells because we have many more workouts to come, many more dumbbell workouts to come. We put up workouts weekly, as we said before. Workout Wednesday, we're putting more, more, more workouts up. Come on, babe. Where are you at? What do you got? 14. Okay. Nice. Yes. Yay, you got to see what a spot looks like. Yes. You can grab at the wrists or you can push Ooh. at the elbows. I like to grab at the wrists because sometimes you can push at the elbows. People will just drop the dumbbells in. So pushing at the elbows sometimes doesn't help. But if you grab at the wrists and just pull up evenly, I was fatigued. you, don't, you no. don't take all the weight. You just help a little bit. So, so they're still getting a workout while you're spotting them. So. We thank you guys. If you enjoyed this workout, again, make sure you share it. Make sure you follow us on our social media, as I talked about already. Um, leave us a comment. If you have any prayer requests, Jasmine and I are praying individuals. We believe in the power of prayer. Send us your prayer request to info at jamesandjazz.com. Uh, if you want to be partners with us, we would welcome that. That would bless us. We talked about that already. Go to jamesandjazz.com. Click on that donations tab, and you can donate to us through that. Anything I'm missing, my love? Uh, just check out all our videos. Monday is spiritual, Wednesdays are physically fit workout Wednesdays, and Fridays are life and relationships. Congratulations. We're super proud of y'all for pushing through this workout. Yes. Uh, great news is if you need a little bit more time, you can always pause it or whatever you got to do. You can go a little bit more at your pace. If you take a little bit longer to do reps than I do, then take a little bit longer. That's the nice thing about me having her working out with me. You might be finishing yours as she's, yes. as she's still doing or starting hers, so that's okay. But we appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you pushing as hard as you can. Again, you reap what you sow. So if you're lollygagging and going easy through the workout, you're going to reap what you sow. Push yourself according to your level of fitness. Only you know how hard you can push yourself. No one else knows. You don't have to hang with Jazz. You don't have to hang with me. You hang with you at your pace, at your level of fitness as hard as you can go. So today was that full chest workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back for more. We're going to have full back workouts. We're going to have uh, full arms. We're going to have full shoulders, uh, full legs. We're going to do our best to push through all these different workouts. And then we'll eventually bring some dumbbells with resistance band stuff. It's going to be really fun. We, again, want to thank VersaGrips uh, for blessing us with these, not only with these VersaGrips, but with these weights. They've been amazing. So thank you, VersaGrips. We love you. We appreciate you all. We'll see you next time.